hello everyone and welcome back to the channel i hope you all are doing absolutely well guys in this video we are going to see gen c actual uh, assessment deductive reasoning questions that were asked based on switch challenge okay so in gamified aptitude we have a topic called as switch challenges okay so in that we get multiple questions you have to like keep your speed very high in order to solve these questions okay because there will be a lot of questions that will be coming one after the other the more you attempt or clear the better your marks is and better performance is okay make sure to watch this video till complete end as i will be showing you how to solve these types of questions and you can practice those questions before your gen c assessment and if you have any doubts you can ask me in the comment section okay and i want two things from you if you found this video helpful please write the word helpful and if you want more preparation video please write that because otherwise i don't get to know that how many of you are attempting your gen c examination the more the comments that i get the better i will bring next video very soon okay so let's get started with video before that if you are new to my channel make sure to subscribe to the channel as i regularly post these kinds of helpful videos for all of you there is a complete playlist on my channel related to gen c preparation make sure to check that you will find a lot of helpful material over there too so let's start with the first thing so guys let's understand how we can solve deductive reasoning switch challenge based questions okay so see for, i will be using this image to make you understand how this concept works so basically in these types of questions you will be having three things okay you will be having having an input one output and then you will be having different multiple codes that are given to you okay now you have to tell this output if gone through a particular code what will be the output you will get okay if this input gone through a particular code what will be the output you will get now how we will solve it let's see this question only so see let's mark these images as one two three four okay to understand it better now in our answer figure which image is first three then which is there two then a fourth and then one so let's see if we have this code or not three two four one yes we have so our input is following this code and then it is covered converting it to output so in this way we have to solve these types of questions now let's see different types of questions that can be formed on this concept let's see this question that we have so in this question we have again inputs okay input images then we have different codes given to us and then we have outputs let's see how we will solve it so for simplicity i will mark the images as 1 2 3 and 4 so that i can make you understand in a better way now let's see this triangle is at which position so it is again at here only second image was circle it is also here third image is here so i will mark it 3 here and fourth image is here let's see the code that we have 1 2 4 3 so this will be the correct answer in this case okay because our input is going through this code to get the output which is given to us okay so i hope you are understanding how we are finding the answers so the answer for this will be one two four three okay moving on to the next question let's look at this question again in order to solve it what i will do is first of all i will mark these numbers okay uh, mark i will give them markings to the figures okay now we have input we have codes and when we have output okay let's see how we can solve it so first of all what we will do is we will give the numbering to the output one okay so see plus is at number one position circle was at number two star was at four and then this is at three so how you will solve it three four two one so this is the correct code for this okay so the answer for this is going to be three four two one now guys i will give you a quick trick okay because you know these types of questions you need to attempt a lot of questions in short time so how you will do it so see first of all whenever you get the question you can't do any numbering and all okay while i'm explaining i'm doing this numbering and all for so that you understand better what you have to do you have to understand what is at the first place see first place uh, you have plus okay in the answer figure what is uh, where is first okay so first is at the last place check your options how many in how many options one is coming at the end so in only one option one is coming at the end so yes this is only going to be the correct answer in this way you can solve these questions very quickly and without wasting any time because usually elimination method will definitely work in these kinds of questions okay like if you have uh, if you are solving this question try to figure it out this way and if the question is complex then you can take more time but with this way uh, it will be solved very quickly let's move on to the next question let's look at this question so we have again input figures and then we have output figures and the, we have different codes we have to tell which is the correct code that will convert the input to the output okay so first of all i'll tell you trick how you can do it quickly okay kind of short trick without wasting more time see first understand what is coming on the first portion okay the first portion that the thing that is coming is this fourth fourth figure so you can see uh, in your answer figure the answer will start with four okay so check your options now so in your option you can see you have only one option as your answer which is starting with four so this is only going to be the correct answer in this way you have to quickly check it okay 
and the other thing is you know you might have other option also like for example if you have the codes like this okay 4123 or something like 4124 and 4123 okay like all the options are starting with 4 only then you have what you have to do you have to check your codes uh, that in your codes like which digit is different okay which can easily help you to identify it so in that case you have to use that but in our case all the first digits were different so we have used that only okay from the output Hope you have understood it. Now, now let's verify our answer. So I will give the markings to the remaining also, and we will see where they are going. So star is two, circle is one, and then plus is three. So our final code is four one two three, as we have already found out with the short trick. Moving on to the next question. Let's see this types of questions. So guys, in this types of question, you have one more level up. Okay. Let's see. First of all, what we will do, we will simply do the markings. Okay. Now in the first level, the already code is given to us. that is this figures will go through this code and we will get one output okay and based on that output that we get again it has to go via some more code and then we will get this final output so how you will solve this question is so if we will pass this input through this code okay that is 2 1 4 3 so what we will get the output as 2 that is triangle 1 is plus uh, 4 is circle and then 3 which is star so this is the output we have got at this point now we have to check okay again we have to give the markings here 1 2 3 4 okay and now we have to check how we, our output is getting formed so let's see circle is 3 triangle uh, plus is 2 triangle is 1 and then star is 4 so this is our output that we are getting so let's see if we have this code 3 2 4 1 yes 3 2 4 1 is there so this one is the correct answer for this one okay 3 2 Four one. I hope you understood this type of question. Here at one level, the code was already given to us. So based on that, we have to reduce the figure, and then based on the figure reduced, we have to re uh, find out what is the exact code that is getting followed. Okay. Let's move on to the next one. Let's look at this code. So in this one, what we have is we have input figures, and then we have a code that is given to us based on which we have to generate a figure, and then based on that figure, again we have to find out what will be the correct code that is getting followed. So first step is let's give them the marking quickly one two three four and then using this code what i will do is i will make my figure okay so see 4 2 3 1 so 4 is what plus 2 is triangle 3 is circle and then 1 is star now this is our new pattern based on this we have to see how our co which code is getting followed to give the particular output let me give the new markings to this 1 2 3 4 and then what i will do i will check okay so 1 is it in its own place 2 is also here then 4 is there and then 3 is there so let's see if we have this code 1 2 4 3 yes first one is the correct answer okay so in this way 1 2 4 3 will be the correct answer for this one hope you have understood these types of question in these types of question basically a figure image input image will be given to you and one code will be given to you that you have to exactly follow based on that you have to reduce the image and then based on the reduced image you have to figure out what will be the code that will followed to give the output given okay so the correct answer in this case will be 1 2 4 3 So guys, so far we have solved a lot of question. Now I have one DIY question for you. DIY is in do it yourself. I will not be telling you the answer of this question. You need to comment down the answer of this question. So you have a given input figures, and then you have different codes. You have to tell based on these codes which is the correct code that the input should be passed through, so that we will get the output figures. Okay. So make sure to attempt this question and write down your answers in the comment box. So that's all for today, guys. I hope you found the video helpful. If you have any doubts, please let me know in the comment section. Make sure to join me on Telegram and Instagram as well. You can ask your queries in the Instagram DM as well. And if you need any content, you can request it on your on our Telegram channel. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done yet to receive all the latest regular updates. I regularly post off-campus drives and preparation-related videos for placements on my channel. So that's all for today's video. Thanks for watching the video.